Hey, what's up, Suns Gamers? It's CJ Intech from Suns Gaming, and I'm bringing you the second part of my Dominion game on League of Legends. So, um, just to recap um, what's previously happened, I just killed two guys. Well, I didn't kill them. I, I got an assist and uh, two kills. Here, I'm just hiding and trying to get some more health. I probably should have saved my other dude. Or, but I'm going to go take this part. Anyway, yeah, sorry this video didn't come out earlier. Um, I've just been a little bit busy. Um, I'm a really big NFL fan, and it was one of the big NFL events um, in the last couple of days, the NFL draft, which is like... It's basically when all the NFL teams uh, get together and they decide on which young college players they want to join their teams. It's a really fair system, um, but yeah, I've been following that, so that's why the videos have been a bit um, less... They haven't been coming out on uh, on the same time as on one and term. Here, I'm just going to go um, chase down Katarina and see if I can get down th this kill. Oh. And then she just disappeared, and I have no idea what happened. Like, I honest, I I think she must have double flashed around that corner, and I've I've just no idea. I didn't know. I didn't get what happened, and she's probably run away now. Um, but yeah, didn't know what happened there, and um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be bringing out a lot of um some more League of Legends videos coming up in the future. Here, I'm just trying to run away from Garen and Mundo. I'll be bringing out some League of Legends videos when I can. I've, I was thinking about doing a live commentary because um, I got a request from it from Zaffo and uh, Zaffo's the boss. <laughs> nah, I might as well. Um, I've, I might as well because um, hopefully I'll be able to talk you through the strategy a bit more of what I'm doing and why I make decisions and stuff like this. Uh, I kind of recommend this game. If you haven't played it before, give it a whirl. It's free to play so, you know. There's nothing you really lose in except for all of your time and your life. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 a decent it's a decent game. It's it's quite fun when you get good at it. But like like I said in the earlier episode, once you, when you suck at this game, it's quite bad. Hopefully, if you've got a friend who you know who you can play with, then you know I'd recommend doing that. If you want to add me on League of Legends, my uh, handle, my gamer tag is CJ Intact. Um, and same with on Xbox Live. If you were fancy playing any games with us on Xbox Live, give us a shout. Um, add me on C um, CJ Intact. Um, so I sh you know. It's always fun to find people, especially on this game. You can make really good friends on it, and... Uh, oh god, that's a bad miss. I can't believe I missed Mundo's fast. Like, he's so huge, look at him. I can't believe I missed the stun on him, that's bad. I, I, we would've got that kill then. That was my bad. Um, yeah, I'm a bit... I'm a bit out of practice, so I've not been as good as what I usually have, um, and I picked a quite a difficult character in Morgana. I might pick, for my live video, I might try and pick another character who plays a lot differently um, to Morgana. There's a few that I quite like. Uh, I used to really like Ezreal, but I like, I like all the really difficult characters on this game. Because <laughs> when I used to be good, I used to give my want to give myself a challenge, so I used to pick... Um, Ezreal is quite a difficult character to use because on this game there are like there are different types of moves that you can have and one of them's skill shots and all of Ezreal's most of three out of four of Ezreal's abilities are skill shots what we call skill shots which means you basically have to aim them and because you have to aim them they're a lot more difficult to uh, achieve you know you, there's a good chance you're gonna miss a skill shot as opposed to something like an area effect where you're probably gonna hit if you're good enough. And I used to use characters like um, uh, Vagar a lot. I used Vagar a lot. I liked I liked my AP carries. Vagar, um, Brand, he was really awesome. Um, oh, what am I doing here? Do I get this kill? Oh no, I think I'm just I'm good to die. Oh bollocks, I balls that up. Yeah, I used to play a lot of AP carries and AD carries. Um, ranged AD carries, so um, one of the characters I played, I've forgotten her name, um, but anyway, yeah, I played mostly AP carries and AD carries, because, I don't know, they're fun, I was never good at tanking, I never really quite got the hang of it, and I played, like, jungle sometimes, but then again, they were just, like, APs, like, I did jungling with, like, 
fiddlesticks and stuff like that, um, which probably isn't ideal. And yeah. So basically, you know, we're we're in a neck and neck sort of battle going on here. They have two points, we have two points, and there's one neutral point, and the score is even. Look at that, look at that stun. See, I don't get a lot of credit when I play with Morgana in this game type. I don't get a lot of um, credit for... Oh god, look at me try and play uh, type good job there. Um, I don't get a lot of credit for what I do because a lot of the times I am picking up the stuns and I am trying to help my team out more than going for the kills. It's quite hard to get kills on this because they're all team fights and... Um, in this game, people will hit a lot harder than what Morgana does. Morgana's really good in standard mode because she's got a move. If you if you play the middle, she's got a move that really takes out loads of minions and gets you lots of money. So, um, oh, another great miss there. Oh, pick up that kill. That was pretty. That was all right. That was very lucky. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, Morgana's really good for playing the middle because she's got a stun, which stuns are really, really good. Oh, how have I not got this? Um, she's got a stun that's really good for... Oh, that was an embarrassing. I should have had Mundo there. She's got stun that's really good for taking people out because you can burst and, like, what, what you can do is you can stun people on your side of the minions. So all of the little trashy minions will attack them and that's really good because even though it's only a small amount of damage, it's, you know, an advantage compared to what they'll have. You want to try and stack the odds in your favour a bit if you can and that's one of the ways I try and do it. Also it means that if I get the stun off I can use my area of effect dot which does a lot of damage um, over time. But if if you just hit it like that, you can see Mundo just walks straight out of it, which isn't, um, you know, it's not nearly as effective. I'm not nearly getting as much uh, damage out of it as what I would, I would like. So yeah, I hope you've, I hope you're enjoying these uh, League of Legends videos, and I'm trying to, I'll try to explain as I go along. Like I said, here I'm just trying to stay around my turret and uh, hopefully wait for ba my backup. That's one of the things you want to try and do if you're. Um, if you're on Dominion, you just want to circle your turret when you're, you know, when you're like close to death and all of your spells are on cooldown. You just want to try and circle the tur turret to make sure that that gets some extra hits on your guys. Oh, we're doing that. We're doing all right here, actually. We've got a um, nice lead and see again. Oh, I got the kill! Oh! I always get surprised on this when I get kills because all of like like I've like I've said my main damaging attack is um, well I've got the I've got the stun which is all right and it's it's good for my team but my main damaging attack is a damage over time so when I hit it it doesn't have a lot of power to kill people off some people have like some people hit like a truck on this you get characters that have one move and it's got a really big cooldown but you know it it. It does a lot of damage, and then you can't use it for ages, so... I mean, Morgana's kind of unfortunate because her cooldowns are quite long as well, but they're pretty decent. Um, and you, you can always buy... you can buy items in this game to help, you know, change your stats around and build your character the way you want it, so you can get people with lower cooldowns, you can, you know, get more ability power so that your, your magic hits harder. And you can get more attack power, a damage, um, and that'll help you do more like melee attacks. Here I'm using my ultimate, hopefully trying to get that kill. Oh, see, that's the thing. Like all the characters on my team, most of them are hard hitters. Like Ezreal's got um, loads of ability to do a lot of burst damage and quick damage. I don't know what way he spec, but there's like. Um, and the, one of the interesting things about Ezreal, the character, um, the blonde character there, is that you know you can is a hybrid. You can you can build him whatever way you want. So you could build him to be uh, predominantly a melee attacker and get like high attack speed and make sure you do lots of damage and 
And because if you if you do well with Ezreal, you can get life steal and stuff like that, which means when you do damage, you take you heal yourself a little bit, and that's a really good strategy. And then you can also um, build him so that he is more magic, because two of his um, attacks are magic based. His ultimates um, a combination of magic and uh, AD. So it's a pretty good. It's he's a pretty interesting character in that respect. The only problem is if you like, if you kind of suck with Ezreal, it's is really apparent. He's so difficult. Like it can be really difficult to to um, to master. Oh god, that that was a bad miss as well. See, when I'm when I'm on form, I wouldn't miss those types of shots, and I don't know why I missed that because that was pretty. Um, it was pretty easy. So this game's coming to a close now. Um, once uh. Once I get rid of being dead, um, yeah, it looks like we've lost this one. It's quite hard to try and pull this back. I, I'm in two minds there, trying to decide which point I should try and take. It doesn't matter anyway. We basically lost this game. But anyway, I hope you liked my League of Legends commentary. And you know, if if you if you're interested in these types of games, I would recommend it, and it's free. So you know, whatever. Anyway, this has been CJ Intact from Suns Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps us out. If you if you see any characters you'd like me to try out on League of Legends for you, I, I guess I could do that. And if you want to do a collaboration, give me a shout. Messages at Suns Gaming. And yeah, peace out. Take care. This has been CJ Intact Suns Gaming. Goodbye.